This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have a Whirlpool Duet washing machine. Sometimes this will actually have a Maytag Duet washing machine tag, but it needs a new door switch and we're getting an F11 error um, also, you might have a DR error, and this is pointing toward a door switch that is not working. An F11 error can also be caused by many other things. Usually, it's a communication error between the motor control unit and the central control unit and can be rectified by just getting better wire connections. But sometimes it can also be caused by the door switch not um, fully closing during the startup and if it doesn't fully close it won't let the uh, motor work and when the motor doesn't work you get F11 so we're going to be putting in a door switch they're pretty cheap and easy to do pretty fast procedure and first thing we're going to do just want to show you guys the uh, part number right here we'll also put a link for it in the description I'm using Torx 15 uh, driver and I'm going to um, take out a couple of those screws. I'm also using a standard head screwdriver to pry off this um, spring clamp that's holding on the front of the bellows or the front of the door boot. And then I'm going to use my Torx 15 screws to remove these three screws. One here, one here, and then one a little lower below this black box. And then I can get the door switch out pretty easily. It's just going to pull out to my left between the door boot and the front panel. You gotta remove that last little screw. And there's just three modular connectors hooked to it that come off very easily. These door switches are pretty tough. It's rare that they go out, but when they don't work, um, they won't let the machine really progress because uh, the computer wants to make sure that the door is fully locked before the motor starts agitating or spinning. So I'm just going to reach in here and remove these modular connectors. And you can't really get them wrong when you put them in because they're, they're only designed to go into one area. Here again is the part number for the door lock. I think this one costs about $65. And we're going to just pinch in, pull them off one by one. A couple of them have blue wires, and then the bigger one has pink wires. Usually, usually the blue wires are like sensors that are uh, switches telling the computer that the door is locked, and the bigger wires are sending power to activate a mechanical lock, electro electromechanical lock. So I'm getting those all in there nice and tight. I'm always want to make sure your connections are good. And I'm going to just push that back in between the door boot and the front panel. If it's a bit tight, you can push in on the tub because the tub moves around. Give yourself a little more room. And then it's just a matter of putting those screws back in, those Torx 15 screws to hold it in position. And then we're going to add the front lip of the door boot back over the front panel, which is easy to do. And we'll add the spring clamp back on. It's wise when you put the spring clamp back on to put a little liquid detergent on the metal and then it makes it just slide better. It makes it a lot easier. You can do it without, but it's kind of hard on your fingers. So we're putting those screws in. It'll give us a brand new door switch. And we're going to put this back on using our thumbs. Make sure it's fully on the lip. And again, probably good to lubricate the uh, metal spring clamp we're about to put on. You put it on by starting at the 12 o'clock position at top and then you bring it, your fingers down to about 4 o'clock and about um, 8 o'clock and then you push down and spread out with your thumbs. It's 
It's kind of hard on your fingers, but again, if it's lubricated, it's a little bit easier. And then uh, you're able to push the spring down over the lowest point, the six o'clock position, and that locks it in. So I just was lazy today. I didn't use the lubricant, so it was a little bit harder, but usually I do. So I'm putting it over the 12, and then I'm gonna stretch it, push down, spread my thumbs apart, and then get it down over the six o'clock position, and that'll lock it in. And I'll close the door and give it a test drive, make sure it's gonna work. So pretty easy, pretty fast procedure for you. Hope that helped you, and I'll put a description for the part in, I'll put a, a link for the part in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe when you get a chance.